Yo, what up? It's your boy Taquan. What? What the? Hold on, let me just fix this. There are billions, trillions, zillions, billions, millions, millions. I literally just made all that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people in the world, bruh. And in each culture, and in each race, and in each family, there's always that one person, bruh. There's always that one person that's always trying to put in on some shit and they ain't never got no damn money. Hey, y'all boys, I'm about to get some pizza. I bet I got 20 on it. I got five on it. I got 10 on it. I bet, bet. Hey, get some wings. Where your money at? Oh, I had, I had to pay. I, I, I thought I was good because y'all was putting all the money in so I, I thought I was good. Yeah, you good, bro. You can have yourself a good day and get the fuck out of my house. When you go to the gas station or at a corner store and you waiting in line and you only got a few things, it's always that one motherfucker that's in that bitch trying to get some damn lotto. And no disrespect to my foreigners, but it's always the foreigners that's doing it. The Haitians, the Jamaicans, but, 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 seriously, no disrespect because I am Haitian myself, so I ain't have foreigner myself, okay? Myself. So I can say that. Okay. When you go to the drive-thru, it's always that one cashier that asks you for your order. You take the order, they get quiet for like 10 hours, come back on the mic and ask you to repeat the order all over again. Repeat the order. Huh? Nigga, what? what? It's always that one cashier that asks you to pull up to the goddamn window, come on up. And then when you get up there, they tell you to back up. So they want to reset that time. They want to restart that time stamp. So they tell you to back up, back up, back up. And then there's always that one cashier who catches a motherfucking attitude when you ask them for some extra sauce or ask them for a straw. It's a, it's a dollar and When you go to Walmart, Jesus. It's always that one damn cashier that rings up everybody like they in a funeral. Bruh, it's always that one basin. When you give him or her money, they don't just know how to go away. They don't know how to say thank you and just leave. They gotta talk to you. They gotta converse with you. They gotta dance for you. Like, dude, go buy your crack and go home, bro. It's always that one student that asks us about homework when the teacher forgot to give you homework. Then it's always that one student that reminds the teacher of homework when she or he forgot to ask for the homework. It's always that one cousin coming through on Ashley Post talking about, do I need to catch a flight down there? Hold up, pause one minute. You're telling me you're going to spend about mm, maybe $500 on a plane ticket. Go to the airport. What about, I don't know, three to four hours to catch your flight? Spend another eight hours on the plane itself waiting to get to your destination. Then you gotta wait at that plane station and wait for your cousin to come pick you up. By the time you get to the fight, the fight don't already don't happen and the girl, your, aka your cousin, don't already got beat up and trying to be friends with the girl who beat her ass. Bitch, 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 shut up. Shut up, bitch. It's always that one homeboy that wanna floss. It's always that one homeboy that wanna floss the stuff that you got to get girls. And then turn around and wanna try to borrow the stuff that they don't floss to the girl from you every time they come around the girl. Man, listen, I can go on and on and on like Erica Badu. I appreciate y'all for watching and tuning in. And y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. Uh, drop your lovely comments down below. 50 likes, 50 likes, 50 likes, and I'll do a part two to this video, okay? 50. You pee? Peesh, peesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Bitch. Cool. What it is, bro?